Welcome to this Blaze Meter Did You Know session. Quite often we manage to take a performance test results and share it with other groups, showing a particular issue we may have identified and also summarizing it. So if we look at a typical Blaze Meter test result, as you can see here, we have the summary panel, but if we look drill into this report, there's lots of details in the timeline report, in the request stats, in the errors. And you need to better navigate this and explain to someone what the issue is. So we can have the executive summary which you can click here. We can modify this in several ways. We can change the name. We can add a logo if you want to change it to your company logo. We can also include the notes. So you can see in our description, we've got the notes, which explains what the issues is we've identified in this particular test results. And as we drill down, we get an overview with the summary and then things like the top five responses issues, the top five errors. So focus on these key details, as well as the details of the test, so when it ran, how long, and some graphs to show how the test performed over time, given this high level view of how this particular test performed. And finally, we have the aggregate report and the errors and a glossary to explain some of the terms we used inside the report. So as you can see, we can very easily create these executive reports and share them with the team to highlight individual issues that may have occurred in our test and to also use the notes field to call out things we want to include to be discussed as part of our analysis. So, for more information about BlazeMeter, please go to blazemeter.com where we have videos and blogs and also BlazeMeter University where there's lots of free courses about BlazeMeter and also open source tools.